So I'm just sitting around here and I'm driving back from showing a place. And fortunately, the uh, client really loved it. And I was just wondering, I'm sure people wonder, what does it take to get from one part of the valley to the next? So let's go over that today, figuring out what the drive times are like here in Las Vegas, because I would sure as heck like to know if I'm trying to move here. driving here in Vegas and I've lived all over the world and everything and I'll tell you there are some unique uh, challenges here in Vegas uh, I'll be honest for a big city with uh, two and a half million people uh, Vegas actually isn't that bad to drive compared to some cities I've been to now when I say Vegas you got to incorporate everything here because there's actually three cities you got uh, Las Vegas, North Las Vegas, and Henderson, of course. And what a lot of people don't understand, there's unincorporated Clark County, which is a big part of it. Because, you know, there's two and a half million people here. Only half a million of them live in Vegas. About half a million people in Las Vegas. A little over a quarter of a million in uh, North Las Vegas. About the same for Henderson. Where are the rest of those people at? Well, that's unincorporated Clark County. So a lot of the places that you see on the map, that say Las Vegas, are actually communities that are unincorporated and they're uh, controlled by the Clark County Commission. Don't even worry about any of that crap, man. Don't even worry about it. Uh, just call it Las Vegas, whatever. Uh, it's controlled by the Clark County Commission, not the city of Las Vegas. That's why we have Metro, the uh, Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department and Clark County Fire, Clark County Schools. That's why we have all that stuff here. Let's talk about the roads. In general, uh, for most of the day, getting around here is simple as heck. I, might, I know it's a, the day I'm driving is a Sunday. I just finished showing some places. Roads are wide open. I am just driving, enjoying myself, getting back, hopefully, right, well, not hopefully, to write this offer up. And it's just a smooth ride. And when I say smooth, I mean not much traffic. Uh, when there is traffic, uh, it's not great. And when I say, oh my goodness, guys, I almost just creamed me there. Uh, you know, it's going to be great like, like any other city, but it seems to still move. So let's say someplace that it takes you 45 minutes to get to. When I mean 45 minutes, I mean from end to end. So, like, let's say you're in the extreme northwest of Las Vegas, which um, I think the extreme northwest, uh, you know, like a Providence area and that new uh, Sky Point area, which they're building right now, um, to uh, the end of Henderson, almost going to uh, Boulder City. That's what I call end-to-end -end in my opinion. Even if you're going all the way down to um, Southern Highlands, that's max without traffic, you know, 40 minutes, zero traffic, max. In traffic, it's, you know, about an hour, five hour, 10 minutes in hard traffic. That's really not bad. And I actually complain about it a lot. I'm not gonna lie, serial complainer about stuff like that because I don't want to waste an hour in my car. I just don't. I'm not a car guy as far as liking to sit in my car for no reason. And, uh, but you know, when I talk to folks in Southern California, when they talk about driving, they're talking about staying put for two hours, two and a half hours. I mean, it's like, man, I couldn't do that. But here, 40 minutes from end to end and you get to every place that you want to be in the uh, valley here and i think that's pretty good now i've run across a lot of people who have a highway phobia because i'm not going to lie I, I actually don't see the police pulling that many folks over all i can say is i couldn't be the police here because i'd have to be pulling people over because sometimes they are acting a dadgum fool. I mean, we all want to put a little bit of lead in our foot, 
So let's say the speed limit is 65. You know, you may want to creep at that 68, 70. But they will run up your tail here, uh, especially when the uh, highways are wide open. It's like, why are you sitting still? They would just go around you and just shoot off like there's no consequences whatsoever. Uh, but I don't know, maybe uh, you know, the police are out doing their real job instead of just writing tickets for grins and giggles and trying to you know, uh, get revenue from that. Because uh, I'll be honest, they're not writing tickets to write tickets for revenue. They write tickets for safety here. And I mean, I'm going to give Metro that. I'll even give NHP that. I'll give Henderson that. When they write a ticket, your butt deserves to get a ticket. Uh, speed traps here because they had a reason that set a speed trap because people were acting a fool. So just don't act a fool. Uh, enough said. Enough said. Uh, so just be careful that now. Like I said, there's people because of that lead foot are afraid to get on the highway because of the speeds and everyone trying to pressure you to drive super fast. Like sometimes. You know, when the speed limit is 65, 75 is not enough for them. They're up your rear ends. And uh, some people take surface streets. There is no place you cannot go in this valley on a surface street. Yes, it's going to take you a longer period of time. got to deal with stoplights and all that crap. But yeah, I hate that. Oh, man. So sometimes you got to take that surface street. Uh, but it doesn't take you that long. So let's say I had to go all the way to Henderson. From the northwest and I had to do it by surface street doing all the stoplights oh my goodness shoot me in the eye right now without traffic I'd say I could probably do it in an hour 15 minutes with traffic maybe an hour and a half that's still better than the SoCal um, East Coast uh, so it's, it's doable. I know some of my folks, that's all they do is surface street. They refuse to get on the highway. So that is nice that you can get someplace here by surface street. And uh, you can appreciate that if you want to get around it. I don't know, maybe that's because we do have an aged population here. we got several of the sun cities uh, where people come here to retire. I mean, Vegas, believe it or not, is a huge retirement community. Huge. So, no, just huge. Oh, let's see some of the other things about driving. See, look at this. I'm actually speeding, and everybody is passing me like I'm a grandma. I mean, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm feeling guilty here. Look at this. Boom, another one just passed me. Man. I mean, do I speed up? Do I continue to be like grandma here? But I want to keep my eyes on the road, you know, talking, so my mind's a little, you know, concentrating. I don't want to look at no camera anything <sighs> so don't want to speed don't want to speed don't want to speed Maybe just a couple of miles just a couple of miles over being safe man, look at this they're coming up behind me and there's one to my left and here comes one to my right yeah see okay and, and I'm, I'm, I'm over the speed limit they're, they're just passing me like, like not even here some other things consider gas here is not that bad as far as the prices they're cheaper than southern california because you're able to drive wherever you want it's uh you know, really uh cheap on the pocketbook as far as gas it could be better you know in the south uh things are cheaper the gas is a heck of a lot cheaper when i pcs here from uh hawaii but i'm going to tell you a little secret uh they do the e10 here where they got 10% ethanol. So uh, it affects your gas a little bit. And I don't know if I'm about to shoot myself in the foot, help somebody or hurt somebody. I'm about to give you a little tip. Oh man, man, oh man. About to hurt, oh man, am I gonna help these folks or hurt them? Just north of town, because I used to do this when I would drive up uh, when I was still on active duty base. There is an Indian reservation it's a golf course. The Indian Reservation owns a golf course called Snow Mountain. I used to get my gas there a lot. And I would realize after a while, because I had such a long drive, that I got way better gas miles when I got it there. 
is because they did not do E15. It was real gasoline. And it was the same price, if not cheaper, than here in the city. So, um, if you want to keep the car clean, you want to get a couple of, you know, uh, tank fulls of good gas, go up to the reservation slash uh, uh, golf course and fill up because that is some good gas. Since I uh, retired, I have not had a tank like that. I mean, if you look at what the uh, my vehicles are supposed to get, they got way higher when I would uh, fill up there. And if I filled up uh, any place in town, my, I mean, just the difference in a tank of gas was, I mean, like 50, 75 miles on a tank of gas. That is huge. You know how huge that is? 50, 75 miles on a tank of gas? Come on now. Come on. So, uh, uh, that's, a, that's a hint. If you really needed to clean your uh, tank out and stuff, go up to that reservation again some gas uh, another one uh, be careful of some of the places around here on gas because uh, uh, I don't know what they put in because I, I filled up one time and I don't want to mention stations because you know I don't want somebody coming after me all I know is I did a tank of gas and that normally this was back before I retired let's say I'd get we're just gonna make numbers up Let's say I get 330, 335 miles on a tank of gas when I filled up normally around town. I get about 400 miles at the reservation. I filled up one place in town. I've never filled up there before, and I just needed gas. I'm just like, I'll just go ahead and fill up what one tank is going to do. I got like 250 miles out of that tank of gas. Y'all listen to me, 250 miles out of a tank of gas. That's a travesty. So start monitoring where you're getting your gas from. And I had my mechanic tell me once that a lot of the places around here, they will water down their gas. I mean, like when I say water down their gas, I mean like literally stick a hose pipe of water into the tank and put it down there. He said um, he found somebody who uh, caught one of these guys uh, watering down their gas, trying to sneak the water in. And he came up with some excuse that it was a safety precaution to reduce static electricity. This guy's been a senior mechanic for years, owns his own place. It's actually, where I take my cars, and, and I actually, I think I've done a video um, uh, in front of his place once. It's like the only place I trust because I don't even trust the dealership. And as a matter of fact, most places who have. Um, Volvos take their play, their cars there because, um, yeah, this guy really knows what he's doing, and he talks about this stuff all the time about what's good and bad for a vehicle, and he's just sitting there telling me that there are places in town without mentioning who they are. He actually like gave me the names of them. And I will not put them here because I don't feel like being sued. Uh, they they water their gas down, and. When you go there, you will find you're gonna get some uh, pretty bad gas mileage, and I test it out, you get bad gas mileage. So, uh, yeah, so just start tracking your gas mileage if you move here, because there is a scam going on, and be careful on that. Uh, just internet uh, driving is not that bad most of the day. Uh, you got your rush hour, of course, and uh, during that time, it is going to take you a little bit more time, but it is still quicker than most cities. Uh, about the only negative thing I can say is they have a lot of construction here. It's like the state bird of Nevada is the uh, construction crane, and it's true. They love constructing. They love tearing up stuff, and the stuff they should be tearing up, they don't tear up. They just tear up to tear up stuff, and uh, there are rough patches of highway that should be fixed, and places they should be fixing they're fixing uh, I, I don't understand it it's almost like I just don't I'm sorry I just don't so anyway uh, got yourself another vid here you guys um, like this you can of course 
go ahead and hit that like button subscribe i put new stuff out every week hopefully talking about stuff you guys like about uh, las vegas and uh i know i can't just sit around talking about housing all day long i'm gonna talk about some other stuff and i'm gonna start trying to do some neighborhood tours really soon so you can see what the rest of vegas looks like okay you guys have a good day and we're going into the uh little fall time here it's still sometimes peaking into the hundreds uh, it's gonna start getting real nice here real soon it's already starting to get nice at night so see you guys later bang